Good morning. Uh, Eric Allinger, field agronomist with the Pioneer, uh, here to speak to you today about sugarcane aphids. Uh, I've had some calls recently about this, so uh, take you with some quick steps for uh, identification, uh, scouting, and thresholds. So, uh, had pictures from customers over the last week or so uh, from grain sorghum fields. Is this a sugarcane aphid? Uh, many of the little green aphids that I'm seeing in photographs, uh, a green aphid, uh, black tail pipes on the back uh, of, of the aphid are actually corn leaf aphids. Uh, so thing number, uh, item number one is to be able to properly identify. So uh, if you look here, we've discovered a pretty good colony of sugarcane aphids on the bottom side of this sorghum leaf. And that is where you will find them. So as we start our process of identification, the cream colored aphid is the sugarcane aphid. He's a cream colored aphid and that's what you want to look for. Um, you look in your scouting, you want to look on the underside of the leaf. Uh, a green sorghum plant today, uh, depending on how far along it is in maturity, may have anywhere from five to seven to nine leaves on it, okay? And that'll come in handy in just a minute. So what we're doing is we're making stops in the field. We're probably counting like six plants per stop and trying to come up with a total of something like 54 plants. So we're going to include in the comments section an article or a web link from K-State University from Kansas State that will give you the particulars and all the numbers on proper scouting and, 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 and the way to look for these. Um, think of it this way, 30% uh, of the plants with an average of 50 aphids per leaf is basically our threshold. So if you find a plant like this, we've looked at that, we think that colony there, my gosh, could be anywhere from 300 to 500 aphids on that single leaf. So you do the math, if there's seven leaves on that plant, you've easily got your 50 per leaf, okay? And so that's, that's, that's the math that we're thinking about to simplify this. So again, think of 30% of the plants uh, with an average of 50 per leaf or, or a colony on that, on that plant. Populations can blow up very, very quickly. So uh, uh, you, could, you could be scouting one day and five to seven days later, uh, depending on the weather, you could have a pretty large population. So once we find aphids like this in the field, and they may not quite be threshold numbers, we're gonna start scouting twice a week after that to make sure that they don't blow up on us. Um, insecticides, you have several choices, but we think clearly the best one is Savanto. Uh, you'll see rates that range anywhere from two and a half to five ounces. Uh, extension entomologists do tell us that uh, uh, the two and a half rate, uh, two and a half ounce rate gives good efficacy and, and uh, may not work quite as fast as the five ounce rate, but seems to do a real good job. So Savanto, S-I-V-A-N-T-O is the product of choice there. So uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, as always, we want to be there to serve you, and uh, we thank you for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.